Hello everyone. This year's theme for International Women's Day is Embrace Equity. What does equity even mean, right? We keep talking about equality. But equality is really the end goal that we are aiming to, where everything is equal and all women and men have equal opportunities. But to get there, we need to talk about equity. How do we remove the inequities which are there currently in the world, which has been going on for generations, so we actually give a level playing field for both the men and the women. For example, when you talk about job losses, the vulnerability for women are still much higher. It's 1.8 times more for women than for men. When you talk about pay parity, women still get paid a lot less than men, and those are the realities. So we wanna make sure that we work towards a world where these inequities are not present and where men and women will really be chosen on the basis of their competence and capabilities rather than gender really playing any role in this. Now that really requires us to think very differently about everything right from language. And it really starts from micro and goes to macro. What does that mean? Even when it comes to our houses, how do we teach our girls? Is that important about how we teach our boys to think about gender roles? The toys we give our boys, why are they different from the toys we give our girls? I think it all kind of connects back to what happens in schools, to communities, organizations. So very important for us to think about the language we use. For example, in the workplace, it's so funny how men and women get labeled. The minute a woman is seen as being assertive, she's not assertive, she becomes labeled as aggressive. The minute a woman is leading, she's not leading, she's so bossy. Again, in a workplace, when a woman starts asking tough questions, she's so awkward. And the minute a woman is telling the truth, she is so difficult. We need to be very, very careful about language and how when a man does the same things he's seen as a leader and a woman does it, we get labeled all sorts of things. And women's agency is not just about women fighting for these rights. It is collective. It has to be everyone's agenda, both men, women, organizations, schools, communities, and right from the home, like I said. So how do we build this collective activism where everyone participates on creating this gender neutral environment that will help our world to become a better place? Here at Astor DM Healthcare, we're so immensely proud that 60% of our workforce is represented by women. And that's not surprising being in healthcare, right? Because so many of the doctors, paramedics, nursing is represented by women. But what's really exciting is that even when we talk about senior leadership, you see the representation of women. For example, our group head of HR, our group head of quality, some of our COOs and CEOs. So, there is definitely a lot of attention which is given in terms of women's empowerment, which is really the legacy of our chairman and what he says about giving women equal responsibilities as long as there is capability and delivery of goals. So let us embrace that. Let us be proud of what we have achieved, but I don't think that this is the finish line. There's a lot more that we need to do. So let's create an environment where we celebrate these differences, celebrate the different perspectives, and come together to actually raise the bar and also create a future which is much better. So let us all embrace equity together. Happy International Women's Day.